Welcome back to Weekly Spiel. Welcome back to Weekly Spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's Weekly Spiel. Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Weekly Spiel. I'm Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations and I am in my room trying to get all this stuff cleaned up, put back because I just made myself a bunch of new masks. Three actually. And I hate to admit it. I, was I know this really sucks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to swallow my pride, get my head out of my ass, put on my big girl pants, and go out and get a real job. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do because I have been out of the loop for literally over a decade. All I've really been doing is spuddling with my arts and crafts, trying to sell things, doing sales. There's been Sweet Bugger all since COVID, just two wing 420 sales where I've barely broken even. And I've been lucky that I've sold three quilts earlier this summer, but I can't go on like this. I have to get a real job, otherwise we can't afford to pay the rent and we may have have to move again and I would literally rather die than have to move again I really would I love this place and th these have been the two of the happiest months of my life we have had so many wonderful adventures and good times and I'm afraid that if I if I start working again I may have to say goodbye to all that but the anointing just hasn't been there I haven't had the usual enjoyment in my arts and crafts. I haven't had as much fun with my embroidery. Sure, I do my little daily diary thing that if you see me on Facebook, I add a little thing to it every day. Um, I guess I will have to, I left it in the living room, so I will just have to run out here and grab it. I'm just talking to the camera here. I'm doing my video. Yoink. And I will show you what's what here. Um, here we have my latest addition to the little family here is Kiss, Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, Peter Chris. Tomorrow I will do Ace Fraley. And the rest is all going to be a surprise. You don't know how it's going to turn out until it's finished. I've been doing this for 65 days now. I'm more than half finished. By the end of December, this will be all full. God knows what I'll be doing with my life by then. I don't know where I'm gonna be working. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to go to the John Howard Society and see if they can help me. I'm no good at anything. I don't do customer service. I am not a janitor. I suck at cleaning. I, I wouldn't last 10 minutes in Tim Hortons. I would rather be burned at the stake than do telemarketing, I tell you what. And I'd be, I'd be happy stuffing envelopes if I didn't get so many motherfucking paper cuts. What am I good at? I've been a useless chuckle-headed pop. It's been 20 years since I had a full-time job. Eight years at Victoria Laundry. Eight years at Machimpy Dolls. Uh, a uh, one year doing the less than a year doing the coffee cart at CMHA with a few odd catering gigs here and there and a few odd little assembly thingies were putting little pegs into bags or envelope stuffing and I will not stand for being bullied my la my last full-time job I confess it was a toxic and abusive environment my former boss didn't just have issues she had a bloody subscription I had to bear the brunt of all her mood swings and I ended up absconding and I've never spoken to her again since. And I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm glad that she's out of my life. I, I, I try to forgive her and I end up being angry with her all over again. So am I ready to move on? Will I ever work again? Should I? Could I? What am I going to do? My options are limited. I don't qualify for disability because my husband makes too much money, and yet here we are. The, he did not get qualify for his pension, which is less than yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I 
really could use a miracle. I could use your prayers. I could buy my quilts. Something. Whatever. Huh. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel. Bye-bye. Be back soon.